trip along I-20 in southwest Tarrant County takes a shocking turn for Kurt Inman and his family. I can't get it out of my head. It, it was a it was a disturbing scene. Around 6 p.m. on Friday in the westbound lanes of the interstate at the Markham Ranch Road exit, a two vehicle crash is in desperate need of first responders as two people lay lifeless. I pulled over to the side of the road to get my family away from the view. Um, I jumped out. I ran across the road. Inman, who has first aid training from his days in the military, immediately assesses the situation. I'm on the phone with 911. I said there's a body in the road and then I looked forward and there's about 30 feet between me and another body. And men and other volunteers tried to care for the injured as best as yeah. they could. And then about that time, a off duty officer pulled up and she said, I'm off duty. What can I do to help? And I, uh, I said, can you talk to 911 because I'm having a hard time explaining to them where we're at. The Good Samaritans administered CPR as they waited for EMTs to arrive on scene. Meanwhile, the Tarrant County Sheriff's Office issued an alert to drivers, letting them know this portion of I-20 westbound was shut down until further notice. And the two people who were hurt did not survive. Inman and his family, including five children, all under the age of 13, went on their way, but he said he could not stop thinking about what had just happened. I was actually on the way to the softball game. There was no softball that night for me. I play in Weatherford. Um, I could not very well concentrate on the game. Uh, it was just, it kept running through my brain. I-20 reopened hours later Friday night. As of Saturday, the Tarrant County Medical Examiner has not released the names of those who did not survive. In Fort Worth, I'm Stacia Wilson.